So in my last video, I made a guide on the iconic aesthetics of the 1980s cyberpunk movement for web design. In this video, we're going to create a retro cyberpunk themed website with modern web technologies like React and styled components. So let's just go through building the website. First off, I wanted to create a cryptic login screen that sets the tone for the entire website. In loginpage.jsx, I use styled components to craft the neon glow effects. I define the glowing text and the flickering text components using keyframe animations. These animations give that text the classic flicker you'd expect from an old neon sign. For state management of the username and password, I utilize the useState hook from React. Now the authentication is intentionally cryptic. No matter what you enter, you gain access. In appcontent.jsx, I added an isAuthenticated state and a handle login function to simulate a real login process. I used a set timeout to introduce a slight delay. To enhance the cyberpunk feel, I added glowing and flickering effects to the login page. The input fields and the buttons now have neon outlines that react on hover and focus, creating an immersive user experience. After logging in, the users are greeted with a loading animation, a spinning neon green circle. This was created in loadinganimation.jsx using style components and keyframe animations for the spin and pulse effects. Next is the main control panel. I structured it using control panel.jsx, incorporating a header, sidebar, and main content area with CSS grid for the layout. To stay true to the cyberpunk theme, I added a global style sheet, globalstyles.js, to maintain the consistent neon colors, dark backgrounds, and futuristic typography across all components. The sidebar features interactive navigation buttons and navbutton.jsx. I implemented hover effects and glowing outlines to make the buttons pop as you interact with them. For the main content, I wanted a dynamic background. I added a hexagonal grid pattern with a subtle animation to mimic a moving digital landscape. I use the hexagonal background style component with keyframe animations. The header includes a glitching logo and our slogan, access to computers and anything which might teach you something about the way the world works should be unlimited and total. The glitch effect in logo.jsx was created using keyframe animations to shift and skew the text, emulating a malfunctioning screen. Moving on, I added functionality for users to submit new posts. In postform.jsx, there's a form with neon styled input field and a submit button. State management handles the form inputs and submission. Submitted posts are displayed in the postlist.jsx file, styled to fit the theme. Each postcard lights up with a neon glow on hover, adding to the interactive feel. Clicking on a post takes you to a detailed view in the post detail.jsx. Here I added an interactive like and share button with glitch effects. While they currently log actions to the console, they enhance the user experience and maintain that stylistic consistency. Lastly, to elevate the visual experience, I integrated a 3D background grid using 3.jsx and background grid 3D.jsx to create a rotating grid of cubes behind the main content, giving a depth to the interface. I made this effect, of course, optimized, kinda. And there you have it, a retro cyberpunk themed website built with modern technologies. It kinda gives that feel where it's a secret to get into and you can post edgy stuff, I don't know. But guys, I'm not really sure how to do these types of videos in short form, so if you have any recommendations, let me know what works and what doesn't. Like and subscribe, thanks for watching.